I've been asking for it, you've been asking for it, and we finally got it. Photomator just dropped the ability to add watermarks as you export your photos. Let me walk you through how they work and show you all the cool new export options they just added. If we take a look at all of these photos, we've always had access to the export menu, but now we have a bunch more options that we didn't have before. If you're familiar with Photomator, you've got all the same options you had before. You can pick your file type, you can pick the quality, and you can pick the scale, including a custom scale if you would like to shrink it to a specific size. The cool new thing that they've added though is the ability to do a watermark and the ability to do some managing and some previewing. So for example, I can take this photo here and maybe it's hard to tell if this is the one I wanna use. So I can just go ahead and click that preview button and it'll load up a large screen preview. And I can press escape or hit the X in the top corner to close it. Of all of the changes though, watermarks are the most exciting part, so let's spend the rest of the video there. We have two major categories, which are text and image. I think text is the easiest one that most people are familiar with. You have all of the options you would expect. So for example, I can change this from watermark to my Twitter handle or my Instagram handle. I can change the color and I can pick whatever font that I want, including less professional looking fonts. You can also optionally add a drop shadow. This is a little hard to tell from here, but the nice thing is, again, we can preview them. So if I just press spacebar, I can see there's a little bit of a drop shadow which helps this light color stand out on this white background, which is nice. And then I can also control the position. I, I like something like bottom left, top right, depending. Let's go bottom right. And you can also choose how far into the image it gets pushed. So I'm gonna go something like that, looks nice. And then last of all, the size. Uh, if you want it to be all watermark, you can do that. I'm gonna do something like that. And that looks pretty good. Let's just tile it across the entire image because I'm super concerned about people stealing my family photos. And voila, you've got some watermarks. Now the cool thing is, is if you want something that's a little bit more unique than just text, you can also go the image route. <laughs> so obviously tiling one image across the entire thing isn't what you want. So let's turn off tiling for a second here. And you can see you have the option to pick from your photos library or you can choose something from your desktop and you have the same options that you did with text. You can choose where you want it to be. You can choose whether you add a shadow. Maybe with an image, we don't need the drop shadow. And then you can also choose the size. So if you want it to be really small, I personally love the idea of drawing your signature or something like that with some opacity and putting it in the bottom corner. And then of course you have all the same tiling options as well. So I'm gonna put a little bit more spacing, but again, if you were super concerned about somebody stealing your images, you can completely cover them sort of similar to what you do with the stock photo websites. And with that, you hit next and you choose where you want them to go. All right. If you found that helpful, you might enjoy my other videos on Pixelmator and Photomator. They're available down below. And if you really want early access to all of those and to support me as a creator, you can check out the options to join me as a YouTube member. Okay, check you next time.